we have our next artist, um, Kevin, who I'm delighted to introduce. And um, so Kevin is an outside in ambassador um, artist and a military veteran, um, all of which he's extremely proud to be. Um, Kevin is based in Plymouth and he creates works on paper and canvas using acrylics, pastels and pencil. Recently, Kevin has also begun to work on much larger scales, creating murals around his hometown. Um, his military background has led to a number of works expressing military history and subject matter, something that Kevin has a forensic eye for depicting. I know when I've had conversations with Kevin, he's got an amazing knowledge of um, military uniforms and you know, military history. Um, he is exhibiting the Moore Galleries and the Menier Gallery in London, amongst other places, and is a member of the Armed Forces Art Society. So I'll hand over to you, Kevin, when you're ready. You're, you're on mute, Kevin. Thank you, Anna. I really appreciate that. No, oh, you're very welcome. And uh, if, uh, first slide then, please. This is uh, what I thought I'd do with my art share this, this time is I wanted to go back a few years uh, to when I sort of started my art. And uh, what it is, I've had a, quite a few injuries over the years. And uh, with my injuries, it sort of debili debilitated me. I was told a long time ago to uh, give up manual work and uh, go to uh, find something that's uh, a bit more you know, easy on my uh, spine and back and all that. So what I did is I started up a business called Portraits. And these are one of my first sort of portraits I started to do with uh, with that business. I started to do football players. And uh, this is obviously, I hope you can recognise him, it's David Beckham from Man United. I'm not a Man United supporter. I want to get that one out of the way. I'm a local lad, Plymouth, Plymouth Argo supporter. And I worked this one in pastels. And I used to uh, use like cartridge paper. I didn't use pastel matte paper. I just used normal cartridge, uh, cartridge paper. And uh, blended a lot of it in with my fingers and uh, it was quite enjoyable work. Uh, I set the business up uh, and I used to do like portraits of pets, animals, anything really, anything anybody asked for or whatever, or if it was a challenge, I'll have a go at it. And uh, one day I was in the market and uh, my spine had gone and uh, I couldn't move my legs. And then I was rushed into hospital and uh, I ended up having an emergency operation on my spine which then put me out of action, which, uh, which was gutting really. Cause I had to, I had, I, I was doing okay. I was, uh, it was all steady and, uh, it, it was going really well. And, uh, so these slides, uh, sort of like, sort of, uh, takes me back to all that, all that time and where I've come today. So the next slide, please, Anna. Uh, it was, uh, this is the this is the one of today. This is uh, I recently did this one. This is a, a Mark Ormrod painting. This one here is uh, thirty foot high by thirty foot wide, and it's of uh, a, a, an hero of mine. Mark Ormrod as uh, was injured in uh, Afghanistan, and the and he's uh, an amazing bloke. He's uh, inspired me a lot. This is actually. Painted is not spray painted. It's actually hand painted. Everything on there you see is hand painted. Me and Mark uh, actually went to his house and we designed this actual painting. And that's it. The, the where he's standing up against is his doorway where he lives. And I wanted to put it in with some of his quotes, which inspired me to get through my. This is where I'm was getting to where I where I injured my spine, and uh, where his quotes were inspirational to me. And it kept me going and going. And, uh, and I thought, like, if Mark can do this, I can do this. You know, so uh, years ago, I, I learned songwriting. But this year was done by me and my wife, Jo. Uh, my wife helped me with the, with the songwriting. And because uh, of the way I am, uh, everything that was done on this, this mural was donated by the public. The great British public donated this. And uh, the, uh, somebody donated the, the uh, scaffolding, uh, the the paints were donated and we collected £1,585, I think, for Mark Ormrod's charity. The original money was on a crowdfunder was uh, used to, to pay for uh, all the materials, scaffolding, you know, because everybody donated, we could donate that money to Mark's charity, Reorg, which, which he does now. And he, help, he helps people like himself with, with all sorts of uh, 
things like post-traumatic stress disorder, it, really bad injuries, and he gets them doing jujitsu, and uh, and it's uh, he, he, the bloke is just amazing, uh, and that's why we why we as a, a group wanted to uh, uh, put uh, put him up as an hero of Plymouth. And he's also a national hero. I mean, up the top is uh, I am, which is in the Invictus Games. The man won a gold medal swimming with one arm, you know, and he's also the pride of Britain. But uh, but he's to me, he's a national treasure, you know, and uh, these sayings here, through struggle comes strength, which is all true in my eyes. Is all, you know, it, it all relates to, uh, to myself as well as uh, Mark. Courage comes in many forms. Asking for help is one of them. That's something I didn't do a long time ago, you know, because I didn't have the courage to ask for help. But asking for help, Gave, gave me more courage, you know, gave me more courage for the future to carry on. And you only fail when you stop trying, you know, and that's with my art as well. You know, when I stopped, I start, I started to fail. When I kept going, I didn't fail. No matter what I did, it, it doesn't, it, it didn't, the money or anything didn't mean anything to me. It was, you know, it was how my life was going and uh, how my art was going. I'm sorry to go on a bit there. Uh, the next slide, please. These here is a, uh, Gladys Knight and uh, Diana Ross. These are two of my heroes as well. You know, and I did this one back in 2000. It's a pencil drawing. It's all pencil. No, no, nothing else in that. And uh, I love that music. I love that music back in growing up in the uh, 70s and 80s. And, uh, it, it, you know, uh, and these two are my heroes. And I just had to do a portrait of both of them. And uh, I've, I've always liked, liked their music. And uh, this was, uh, these were all practice portraits to get me, you know, when running the running the business. Uh, next slide, please. This year is my football team. It's Plymouth Argo. And uh, we don't do very well. And we we haven't done very well in a lot of seasons over the years. But that, that particular season, uh, we went right up to the championship, the next one down from the premiership. So I just had to uh, do a portrait of them. And I did, that's all the team that uh, got there that year. And I even put the chairman in as well up the top. And uh, so I was I was quite proud of that one. And I wanted to, uh, that one there I was uh, on sale at Plymouth Argo for a little while. And uh, so I was quite chuffed with that. Next slide, please, Anna. This one here is a one I did when I was in hospital. Uh, everything you see on that one there is pastels with a bit of pen and ink. And everything you see on there is uh, what was in the room. The The... The black cat uh, was for, uh, was on top of a magazine. Uh, I was copying a drafts board, and I, obviously I got fed up with uh, doing all the squares. And that's why I got the full alphabet there, because I didn't have enough uh, squares to put, put the full, full alphabet in. The border on the side, it was from the border from the wall. And uh, I don't know why, it's not my normal type of work, but I really enjoyed doing it. And uh, I put a silhouette in the background, and I called it drafts. And uh, one of the doctors in there wanted that one, and uh, he was just, uh, you know, talking to me about it. And uh, the reason I did the letters because I, I used to love doing calligraphy, and I used to hand paint them, and uh, it's all freehand the the calligraphy, and uh, and I've used the gold pen to oil out the edges, and and same with most of it there. Uh, but yeah, I, it's, it is a bit unusual work for me, and I did that quite a long time ago, and because uh, uh, I was going through a uh, not a good period with my health and uh, my mental state and uh, so this is what was coming out of my head at the time and it's unusual uh, to you know people say that's unusual for me to do uh, to, uh, to draw or paint but I quite like that one and I've still got that one even though the, the doctor liked it uh, next slide please Anna this one here is the Ewok Warwick Davis uh, who, who plays the Ewok when I was in uh, the the business uh, studio in uh, the Goshen Centre. I was learning how to do uh, marketing, business management, and everything, all, all, all to set up a business in uh, doing my portraits. Uh, there was a lad there across the road called Robin, and he came up and he said, uh, he said to me, uh, uh, I, I do Star Wars conventions. Would you like to uh, sell them at a, at, a, at a Star Wars convention? I said, yeah, you know, obviously setting up a business, that'd be great. And anyway, he was on the phone and he was yapping away. And uh, he, he said, here he is, Warwick. And he passed me on. 
and it was only Warwick Davis speaking to me on the phone uh, about this uh, this year. And we worked out that we would do thirty pound for the portrait, and he get thirty pound for his signature. But that was back in uh, ninety five, and uh, so. Uh, but shortly after that, that's when I ended up in hospital. So nothing like this sort of happened. You know, I ended up in hospital. I couldn't walk. I couldn't move my legs. And uh, it, it took me like three operations, uh, well, four operations and all, uh, to get well. So that took that, that was over a few years. So, uh, you know, and these are sort of like, to that Mark Ormrod one now, I was able to get up on a scaffolding and actually paint that one. And then back then I was, uh, I was flying from my work. And I was doing it too quickly as well, I, I think. Uh, next slide, please, Anna. This one here is when we were ch children, we used to all meet up together down Denport, and we used to walk down to Union Street, and uh, we used to go in and get a pint of milk and buy a pie. And we used to go down to the Mill Bay docks, and we used to watch the ferries coming in. And this was one of the ferries that used to come in a lot. And one day I wanted to, you know, one day as I, as I got older, I wanted to, uh, I think I did that one in 1998. And, uh, but as a child, I've seen, I've seen that ferry come in a lot. And it brings back quite, quite a lot of good, good childhood memories, uh, this paint. This is actually a watercolour with ink. And uh, it's, uh, it, it took a little while to do, and uh, it's coming into uh, Plymouth. So uh, uh, next slide, please, Anna. This one here, uh, this was one of my first ever paintings in the Manier Gallery. I, uh, what it was, uh, I was in a, I was in an, another hospital, and I painted it in the hospital, and uh, I sent it to uh, uh, the the person who was in charge of the art group, and uh, it was I didn't even know nothing about the Manier Gallery back then. And uh, I, uh, and later on in life, I uh, exhibited there with the Armed Forces Art Society, and uh, this one was just on show in there. And uh, I was when I found out that I, that I've actually had two paintings in the Manier Gallery, I was well chuffed to bits. And uh, and I'm really this is a pastel painting. It's got a touch of watercolor in there as well, a bit of a like acrylic-y watercolor, but all the faces all pastels. You can see by the the difference in contrast down the bottom. But I do like to experiment a lot, you know, with with my work, and and I wanted to create him like lit up uh, in a night night scene, and I'll call him the king. That one. Uh, next slide, please, Anna. And this one here is uh, out for heroes. Uh, what I did for out for heroes. It, this is this year's uh, Christmas card, and this this Christmas card collects money to help uh, uh, wounded, injured, and sick veterans. And uh, all profits go to uh, in uh, to that cause. And what what we what we've come up with is uh, uh, from an old uh, Dad's Army uh, sketch. In Dad's Army, he said, uh, "Don't tell him your name, Pikey." But this one here is, "Don't tell him your name, Rudolph." So the the warden, I'll put an air raid warden in. And uh, I, to be honest, actually, I did do this one as Dad's Army. I did do Captain Manor in there, and I did do Clive Jones as uh, Corporal Jones. And I did, do, but I, for copyright reasons, I had to change all that, which is fair enough, you know, because uh, I haven't got a license to do, uh, uh, I haven't got a license to do Dad's Army stuff. So I changed it and changed their faces around again, and that's all fine. That's all copyright free. And Out for Heroes then could publish it. And they're actually out on sale now uh, as as uh, Christmas cards. So uh, this, so basically what I was trying to say is that from those earlier drawings to now, I still kept in with my art uh, and I never gave up. And uh, my art has improved uh, a lot since them days and, my, and, I, and myself has improved as well. So, you know, it's people like all through that time, people like Mark Ormrod and, uh, you know, seeing how he coped and how other people coped you know, that inspired me to go forward myself. And today I'm, uh, uh, and since I've been with, uh, outside in, you know, of uh, unbelievable things has happened. And because uh, outside in has actually gave me a lot of confidence, which I don't, uh, which I don't think they realise, uh, because being able to do these art shares, I mean, I do, I mean, I've also had a stroke and I do forget a lot of things and uh, I, I still get, get that, even though I, do yap a lot and that's because a lot of the times i'm nervous but uh 
But XRN has helped me with that, you know, by doing these art shares, being becoming an becoming an ambassador. I mean, I'm I'm so chuffed that I'm an ambassador for XRN. It's unbelievable, you know. And uh, everything uh, XRN has done for me is is coming out lately, and uh, I've, it's given me more confidence uh, to do a lot of things. And I want to thank XRN for that. And uh, and uh, thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed my art share. Thank you so much, Kevin. That's lovely. And. Um so great to hear you know your progression and you know i mean you've obviously been through some tough times but you know how your artwork has progressed and you know just to see that mural is amazing you know it's fantastic what you've achieved so thank you so much for sharing with us today well thank you anna thank you very much and thank yeah. you beth should i should i read the comment yeah please do beth that'd be great yeah. um where am I starting? Um, so Dima said, how well the hair of a football player is drawn. Um, I said, amazing to see work on such a big scale. Uh, Lorraine said, wow, the huge wall mural of Mark is stunning, as is the story of how it happened. I said, it's great that it was a community project drawing people together. Tom said, Kevin, a stunning mural, a real legacy for Plymouth and to help raise funds, a bridge to the community. Ellie said, that's stunning. Tom said, great passion, Kevin, for your art and helping others. Um, and then Lorraine said, it's amazing how pencil and paper can create such beautiful portraits. Um, and the white silhouette of the black cat is gorgeous. Uh, I said, really interesting piece. Uh, Tom said, stunning calligraphy looks effective with the highlight. Um, I said, such skilled work. Ellie said, my grandma lives in Plymouth and I grew up going to Davenport a lot and also have memories of watching the ferries coming in. Uh, love how Plymouth centric a lot of it is. You're an incredible talent and these are stunning. Lorraine said, fairy picture, I really like how you create water. You capture it beautifully. And then I said about the lion one that the texture is amazing. It's so soft. Tom said, wow, great image, Kevin, great colours. Marissa said, paint, paste London, very intricate. Fairy evokes pictures in the 50s, nostalgic, although I realise it's very modern. Your work is very varied and very skilled. Rain said the expressions on the reindeer in the Christmas image is a hoot. Uh, and then Tom asked, what medium is the card, Kevin? It's uh, water mixable oils, Tom. It's uh, what it is, is uh, it's the background. It, what I, how I do, do the card is uh, I actually I drew this separately and drew that separately. And the background is an image, a digital image. So that was placed to make the card. So Out for Heroes did that. You will see the card is uh, slightly different because Out for Heroes changed the uh, the background. But the actual image itself, all this is all water mixable oils and that image there. So all I'll do is that, that I send them in, they cut them all out and plonk them onto the uh, to picture to make the card. So I actually just design, just design it basically. But the actual painting, it's it, it's it's there. But it is water mixable oils because I I don't like not like working working with too much oils with uh with all the 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 mediums that go with it with water mixable oils. You don't get all that vapor coming around in the studio. That's great. Um, and then finally, I said it was really interesting how your works changed over the years. Um, and Tom said thank you for sharing that. I've changed over the years. <laughs> yeah, it's really interesting. So yeah. professional. Yeah, definitely. It's very interesting how you've shown your earlier works up to, you know, that piece on the wall, the mural. And yeah, it's, it's fascinating when you look back at your work sometimes, isn't it? And seeing how far you've come and how you've changed and the progression you've made. Yeah, I chuffed the bits about it. Great. Well, thank you, Kevin.